So with regards to the previous lecture where we were learning about wire numbering according to the NFPA standard inside ePlan, there are some other things I wanted to point out. So for example, pull this over here, if you would like to add the cross section so as in project and you would like to have AWG standard wire sizes over here to cross sections you would need to expand that in the options and then settings and then you will go to connections cross section diameter this is in the IEC so we are working on the level of the project, so projects and then our project over here, connections and then cross sections in diameter and unit. You could add some standard values, for example starting from 0 and set over here. AWG and then further let's say 5 just a couple of examples you can copy this one control C and then control V over here also here add a couple of them select all of these control V I know 10 15 20, 21 and OK. Now for this example over here, now you have these values. Let's say you're gonna go with 20 and OK. OK, one more time. Cross section diameter, when you select over here, it automatically changes over here based on the input from the table from the options and then settings of current project. Another thing regarding this is so this is the cross section diameter for the connections and the unit is AWG and the alternative unit is square millimeters, unit of length, if we want to set any other based on your need, then you would do that over here, still on the level of your project. So the colors also, if you want to add some other colors or change these, you would do that over here. Let's just select for this one, say also 20 and OK. Of course, we would need to copy the format and paste over here to see the effect. And then options and then settings one more time for the cross sections you can say generally as in project since for the project we have the AWG format the unit we can go over here now select one more time 20 as in project and you would still get the AWG because that's set up on the level of our project in the options and then settings and properties of our project in the connections under electrical engineering and 
over here. Let's take this example one more time. Tally data, everything. Select over here, 17. OK. Of course, we don't have this under display. That is, the cross section diameter is set to invisible. But we're gonna change this and say copy the format and paste to this one and 17 AWG and the color one more time color blue and okay over here and that's it for now. This is what I wanted to show you a couple of additional tips and tricks regarding wires and wire labeling numbering inside ePlan. In the next video, in the next lecture, we're gonna start to build our power infeed circuit diagram.